do you want to make an otter VTuber like this? Well, let me show you. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and download these two Unity packages. You need these to be able to create your VRM VTuber avatar. I'm going to go ahead and put them on the screen and there should be a link in the description where you can find those. So once those are downloaded and you drag and drop those onto the project, you should see these two tabs up here. VRM0 and the other tab. So the next step for me, I had to kind of remove some things before I can get our character where it needs to be. So go ahead and remove the environment and remove the marker, sticker, paw prints, and physical interact. Won't need those for AV. It should just be left with armature and body. So go ahead and click on him and then VRM export and go ahead and start filling out all this stuff. So it's going to want a title. We're just going to call it, you know, Dr. Trap version. This is going to be my first version authors me. It could be really any information you want in here. It can be as official or as loose as you want it to be. I'm going to go ahead and click uh, export. It's important to export it outside of the project because we're going to have to drag and drop it back into the project in order to work. So once you've exported it outside of Unity, you, I have it here, my tutorial VRM, you're going to drag and drop it back into Unity. Kind of weird, but kind of how it works. So I'm just going to create a folder. I'm going to call it VRM Tuber. Call it whatever you want, doesn't really matter. And drag and drop your VRM into that folder. Next step, drag and drop your dude into the space. Once you drag and drop your VRM, it's going to look like this. So you can tell it looks a lot different than the original one. But I'm going to show you kind of how to fix that. Partly it is because uh, VRM doesn't support the uh, Iomi shaders. So we're going to go ahead and fix the shaders. So we're going to go ahead and change the shaders to VRM. M tune for each one. <clears throat> one of the things I like to do is I like to take the ECI reflection and send it to cut out, to make the eyes look or like eyes <laughs> and that's mostly it for the coloring the next step is going to be doing the blend shapes getting the mouth to look all how we want so if you click on your avatar you can come down to blend shapes double click on that and this is where we're going to go ahead and edit the uh, mouth so come down here you can pull this up get the head and you can go here and what we're going to do here is edit all of the uh vowels the main sounds you want your mouth to move so we'll put a first and we're going to drag the scaler for a these are your vowels so you can see here whenever i make the a sound it's going to do that up there i can see that and kind of go through these Once you go through all your blend shapes, you should be pretty good to go ahead and export it again. So I'm going to go ahead and select my my dude. I'm going to go over and export him again. But keep in mind now, this one has all the blend shapes done for it. So now when you export it, uh, you can open that up in VC Face. So I'm going to go ahead and export this. I'm going to call it Tutorial 2. It's going to be different because it's going to have the blend shapes. And then you can open it up in VC Face and kind of get a look and see how you like it. Leave a comment if you want to learn more in-depth facial tracking, like using the iPhone iFacial mocap.
and you can do some more intricate and interesting faces like these.